message. As I expected, I that must be the, the entrance to the database. It's a very nice door. What is the point of all the pretty water? Okay, I see a lot of locked things. It's not a good start. I like the fount- the- yeah, the fountains. A part of the building is submerged. I should be able to find the hidden path underwater. It seems I have a puzzle to solve. Guess I will check on the mechanism in the middle first. Okay. Gather five tones to align and tune. The bells shall guide your path. Find keynotes to determine tone. The archive shall be I unmasked. See. The control panel here does look like a musical instrument. If you say so. But five music notes seem to be missing. So to gain access to the database, I will need to recover the five missing notes stored in those sonodisks. It's literally what the text just what said. What is that sound coming from behind the symphodi? Symphodi? That is not what it said. Collect sonodisk U. Oh, they're just going to give this me one? This must be one of the missing notes. Cheating. Now, how do I connect it with the symphodi? Part of the score the holder just lit up. As I expected, the drum over there seems to have unlocked. A bell just raised out of the water. So that's what it meant by having the bells guide my path. Okay. What do I do with old mate? Strike the bell and adjust it to the correct orientation. Oh! The path. I see. A new walkway has shown up. I must have solved the first puzzle. Seems I will need to look for more sauna discs in there. Indeed. Tacit discords inside the city hall? No, they are not real. They must be some kind of digital simulation. It seems they are the guards here. Interesting how I'm not hearing sirens despite having destroyed every one of them. Apart from the simulated tacit discords, it's unusually quiet in this place. It's a hidden location. It's not supposed to be inhabited. Multiply 54 with four thirds for the frequency you seek. Find this note in the west while the prophet is beyond reach. I suppose reach. it's telling Void. me where I can find the next sauna disc. I think it mentioned a direction. What does that last sentence mean, though? I don't know, Raven. That sound. It's coming from the west. I'll take your word for it. This is the second sauna disc. Well, that was easy. I should bring it to the symphodi. Really? I don't get a path? Oh, I just go back. Never mind. I could easily just jump that, but whatever. <laughs> okay, we've got some water happening. Next level down. Uh, the water level just dropped again. There's another two drums. One in the east, and another in the west. I may find more sauna discs down there. Take the west. Oh. It seems locked. Guess I'll need oh. to activate the other one first. You could have told me that before I jumped down here. Sheesh, Raven. So this is the right way to go. I assume as much. I'm being fed just enough information to work out the puzzle. This does look like Miss Magistrate's doing. <laughs> Not my entry? Not my entry. The drum on the other side has unlocked. Has it now? Guess I'll go check on it before I leave, just to be safe.
Okay. Another bell just rose up from the water, but it's still locked. I'll need to connect the passageways first. I mean, between these? Or can I just go to the upper levels? I mean, this is a passageway. Oh, this is what it meant. Okay. Oh, it takes... Oh, I see. Ah! Huh. Oh, it's a treasure chest there. But apparently... Do I just huh. swim to it? Remnants of the past. So what's the point of this? Well, yeah, but it's not exactly necessary, right? Because you, I could have just left it where it was. The path was still formed. Weird. The music I just heard, it must be the Sana Disc. Here it is. Time to deal with the guards. It's so very simple if you can see this. Oh, they're so the low level. Hub. I've retrieved the third sauna disc. Time to head back. Expected discovery. Oops. Convenient. Another platform. The bells will lead my path. Huh. I'll go work out the passageways. Okay. Looks like we're going this way. This feeling. And back up. Oh boy. I'm being watched. Must be another sauna disc. I would assume that uh, Dinsit is looking at you. This and is the fourth you. missing note. I never kill anything to get Almost it. Almost there. But the magister is definitely watching. One to go. What is going down again? Now the water is all gone. Best to get One last to note to go. Ow! I pressed space, but way too late. Consider this it investigated. This is the last one. They've prepared quite the Bye. welcome for me. Ready for battle. Settled. Easy. I have the last heavily overleveled. Time to go back to the Symphodite. Okay, how does one achieve this goal? Okay, the door opened. Brilliant. And then we'll have a lift in it. Wonderful. The top floor? Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. This was nice and straightforward. Probably a little too straightforward, actually. But still, I enjoyed it. What color is it? Yellow. Uh, I think the now door kind of just went have for access to the database. Colors of purity. Ooh, another bamboo courtyard. They're very fond of these, aren't they? Wait, is that real sunlight? Nah, that has to be artificial. <laughs> uh, big room. Hiding big secrets. So this is the Grand Library. Apparently. It's said to hold the answers to every question imaginable. 
I don't imagine it would because then wouldn't people be, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Making the use of it for ill. I've forgotten the word. Taking advantage of it. There you go. I'm not seeing anyone here. I guess the magistrate is yet to arrive. Oh no, I believe she's here. Well, it wouldn't hurt to browse the archives for a bit as I wait for her to show up. Thank you for leading the way, Rover. Hey, Scar. I what actually wasn't expecting this. What a magnificent place to set foot in. Extensive, exhaustive. Oh, how I want to carve the place See, inside out. exactly the kind of person I was talking about. Blow it all to shreds. Take advantage of it. Well, that's not very practical. Can you not? <gasps> Thought you'd seem a bit more surprised. I wonder why. <laughs> nah. So you've laid a trap for me. Indeed. Uh Please don't destroy the Grand Library. This is a sacred space. Huh? Interesting. Do you really think you can trap me here? No, but she can probably get you out of here. She can oust you. You will not escape. What a shame I can't stay and play with you a bit longer. Till we meet again, dear friends. You're not going anywhere. Ah. Uh, that was not a good idea. Um not the best idea you've had, Rover, and we are so One the sounds. Light beam reversal. <laughs> Ready Finally. for battle. Oh my god. Break! Well, it's gonna be there forever. Tell truth from the side. Bide the time. Settled. Target confirmed. All is fair in war. We can fight. <laughs> oh. Why, though? I didn't know this was necessary. You seem like such an amiable chat. This seems... Did you just offer yourself up to be my prey? I didn't think I did, but okay. <laughs> now, it's just the two of us. Well, Stow four away of us, that actually. irrational anger of yours. What anger? I'm not even mad. A reminder for you. Seeing is not always believing. Why are you so sure they told you the truth? I'm not, and they haven't told me Don't anything yet, actually. So Which is more soon. to the point. Why are you so stubborn? Why can't you place some of that trust in me? Or do I have to crush you to make you behave for once? I mean, I'm not opposed to you in a base <laughs> level. I just think you're going about it the wrong way. I'm not even talking about his order. Just just him and what he's presented to me. I don't not have faith in you. So you knew I was following you all along, huh? My Elysium only breaks under coordinated attacks from both sides. I can never get rid of all these pesky little helpers around you, can I? It seems not, sir. So you've joined hands against me with Miss Magistrate here. It does hurt my feelings, you know? I understand, and I, I'm not discluding you from the conversation, Sky, as she is, so, you know. You're always so, so popular. Me? Yeah, it's because everybody wants something from me. You should know how it is. Are you all right, Rover? Um, generally fine, yeah. 
Of course she is. How could I ever have the heart to hurt her? He's not wrong. Consider my moment of failure a gift of sincerity, Rover. I trust you haven't forgotten our conversation earlier. I absolutely haven't, and I won't forget it. I will listen to them with open ears and remember that what they say may not be true. Choose me. I'll tell you everything you want. Can I not just choose both of you? I already know everything. You, I'm, I'm sorry. What dimension did we just walk into? What do you mean you already know everything? Huh. I see. So she made the move before I could and told you all of it already. Probably her version of events, just like you would tell me your version of events. Then as the winners... She didn't tell me anything. Would you be so kind as to tell me how you set me up? I'd be interested in that too, actually, if you could share with the class. First meeting. Now I have retrieved the magistrate's message for me from the puzzle box. But it only points me to the Grand Library. There's no meeting time. Something is still missing. I've solved the puzzle, the discs have been rotated, and the two symbols are now glowing. With this glowing light, a shadow is cast on two other symbols. The black ah, tortoise of the north, interesting. north to the city hall. And the time reads, the Shichen of Cho, in the wee hours of the morning. Could have darker eyelashes, but she's pretty. It's been three days. We both made it on time. And what have you Allow been doing for three days? Introduce myself. I am Jinshi. It brings me great joy to see you, Rover. Do her shoes go all the way up? That's immensely uncomfortable. Hello, why wait three days to meet me in person? Did something happen? I'm not talking to another projection. An emergency forced me to leave, and I only oh, had the time too. to prepare some tokens Goes for you. Up. Okay. Please, pardon my lack of hospitality. Does that emergency have something to do with the Faxidus? Or the Sentinel? Faxidus? Yes. The Sentinel of Jinjo is currently absent. Absent as in he ain't there anymore because <laughs> that's a bit of a concern if we've lost the uh, magical protective dragon big problem aren't they supposed to stay in their domains correct so the where Sentinel's could he have gone guide and guard humanity is a symbol of our civilization or was he imprisoned was he taken was he kidnapped when a region sentinel goes absent chaos is bound to ensue as this news could lead to civil unrest Please, keep it a secret. Jinjo's sentinel, Jue, is being held captive by the Fraxidus. I had to postpone our meeting and put all my effort into finding its whereabouts. Do you commune with Jue at all? I'm just interested as to your relationship with him. I heard you can resonate with the sentinel, hence why I was asking. Yes, our thoughts are connected to a certain degree. I can sense his memories feelings and surroundings though not very clearly have you found it yet unfortunately i haven't i can feel jue is in danger the good news is i have figured out the culprit behind all of this i don't know if that necessarily helps you find him though and yes i'm going to keep calling the dragon a him is it scar precisely the Fraxidus plans to advance another lament and cause disasters worldwide. Overseer Scar had several objectives upon infiltrating Jinjo. Seems like a pretty fucking bad plan. To track you down, to test your strengths, and to make you join their cause. 
to abduct Jue and to resurrect the Thrinodian in advance. Why me? They must have discovered your value, likely from one of Jue's prophecies. If you join them, they'll gain significant power. Should you refuse to join, the Fraxidus will likely want to eliminate you so you don't get in their way. She's just so pretty. Not the rover. Jinsen. I have a plan to apprehend Scar. Once we capture him, the Fraxidus won't be that much of a threat to you for the time being. If you are willing to lend us a hand, I will ensure your safety during our cooperation. Count me Thank in. you for your trust, Rover. Have you earned it? Speaking of which, you seem to have already gathered a lot from the tokens. Well, I mean, isn't that the point of me being here and meeting you? The Mangosteen points to how people lived through the wars in Dinza. The Sugar Pearl points to past epidemics and disasters. The Leaf points to the Fraxidus. The Sundar points to when and where we are meeting. I'm sure she says all of that. Impressive, Rover. The threat Jinjo is facing is far worse than meets the eye. One of the Thrinodians will soon be reawakened. What are the Thrinodians? My, my lo loading screen didn't really explain it to me. They are the enemies of human civilizations, born from the dark side of our collective consciousness. We must defeat them to protect all of humanity. So you... <laughs> it's like Final Fantasy X, where everyone believed that sin was their sins and that to get rid of sin, they had to atone and repent and get rid of all these feelings, blah, blah, blah. But that wasn't actually the case. That was a whole lie. So you're saying this is actually that, but it's true. <laughs> That the dark side of humanity created these dark entities. Wow. Okay. We have been doing our best to prevent the disaster. But the Fraxidus is accelerating the Thronodian's revival. And it has something to do with me, yes. Indeed. You have defeated the Crownless and absorbed its echo with your bare hands. It was fun. It is the He's tacit fun. discord that embodies the concept of warfare. Resentment of the fallen, fright of the ignoble, those are the emotions that lay ground for its birth. I've never the heard Crown anybody say fright of the ignoble before. That possesses powers from the reviving Thrinodian. Can you elaborate on that? Jinjo is a border city with an unbreakable will and a strong spirit of resistance. However, we also fear the constant wars and loss of life, and the Thrinodian can prey on that. You, however, you were able to defeat and absorb a thrinodian related tacit discord with your bare hands and resonate with other TDs. Meanwhile, Huang Long's records mention a hero with similar powers who saved our nation during the Thrinodian War. She is also mentioned in literature, dating back to Jinjo's establishment. And let me guess, she appeared as an amnesiac in a time of need and saved everybody just the way that the rover has this time around to uncover your true identity this could be a helpful lead to pursue you believe that person and i could be related in some way yes based on my own deduction and the prophecies of jue jue and the gorgeous of spirits you mean the unfinished statue of Jue. It's unfinished? Why is it unfinished? Why aren't you finishing it? I remembered something when I saw it. I see. Do you mind letting me know what you remembered? Since it's related to our sentinel, I might be able to help. You told Jinsu about all the bits and pieces of memories you could remember. Rover, the memories of which you speak are from the time when the previous hero saved the world. Yes, anything worth noting about that? As I mentioned earlier, I can resonate with Jue, our sentinel. Your recollections, they align with what I've witnessed in Jue's memories. Yes, I do remember seeing something similar. I believe it had truly happened in the past. I have to say, her eyes were a very murky color. They couldn't have been a nice resonant yellow. It had to be this murky thing. In other words... In other words, you may be the person mentioned in our records. The unwavering presence by our sentinel's side, bonded by an unbreakable trust. 
I don't reckon resonators can live that long. Resonators tend to live a longer lifespan, but it is indeed unprecedented to live hundreds of years without any sign of aging. Unless you're in a space where time does not pass in the same manner. So many mysteries about you remain unsolved, and your age is just one of the unknowns. Yeah, how old do I look? Jinsa? I can't tell, she's an anime character. How old does she look? <laughs> if this is true, who was I all that time ago, and how did I end up losing my memories? Sorry, but I don't know. Jue's last piece of information pointed to the Norfall Barrens, where you should find the Thranodian. Which direction is that? South? I pray you will find your answers there. A Thranodian is resurrecting, and our nation is in grave danger. This reminds me of the Thranodian War all too much. Perhaps... This has something to do with your mysterious appearance in Jinjo. I could have told you that. I wonder if she's the catalyst or if she just shows up because it's happening, which way it goes. You mean I showed up to protect Jindyo like the historical hero did? Not really. I don't plan to believe in a hero showing up out of nowhere and protecting us. I am just presenting whatever lead I have about your past. As I know it is troubling you, I want to help you, and that is all there is to it. Thank you for considering lending us a hand. Your help is much appreciated. But please, do not feel obligated because of the information I shared. She's very upfront and wholesome. They are my people, and the responsibility to keep them safe should fall on no one else but my own shoulders. I am saying this because I have faith in my abilities, and even more so in the bravery of Jinjo soldiers and our people. You deserve to make your own decision about this after uncovering your true identity. I appreciate everything you've done for us during the past few days, and perhaps even longer ago. Once it all settles, I am ready to accommodate and assist in whatever future decision you make. You can leave Jinjo or the entire Huanglong if you wish. If you ever need me again, you need only ask. Let's keep this a secret between the two of us. How does that sound? She's so sweet. I like her. She's lovely. So Scar, that's how it happened. Scar, you are now under arrest for committing multiple felonies in Huanglong. Do you have anything to say? Probably not. What do I want to say, huh? While I'd love to tell you another story... Yeah, first one was riveting. I guess that's not what you want to hear. I mean, I'm okay as long as it's couched in, like, true facts. Let's cut to the chase, Madam Magistrate. I'm getting bored already. Very well. You will answer only our questions from now on. Sure, why not? What do you want to know? Why did you kidnap Dua? Why are you obsessed with reviving the Phenodian? What on earth is the lament? Why were you following me? Okay, I get to ask all of these? Okay, cool. A sentinel such as Jue can predict and correct future events. It gets in our way of achieving our sublime vision. Fair. We merely wanted to topple the set future built on lies and take control of our own destiny. Sure, why not? What do you want to know? Okay, fair. I can't dispute that. Uh, Thranodians. The Thranodians. They hold the key to our ideal. Because they're extra traumatic for the average person. <laughs> Together, they will bring us the promised true lament. And we will embrace the new world that is bound to come. So you're all basically egomaniac doomsdayers. <laughs> Is what I'm hearing. Sure, why not? What do Wish you want to know? Wish repeat that every time. What on earth is the lament? What is the lament? Disaster? Lament. Curse? The way he says that. Some kind of punishment? <laughs> People only see the surface. It sounds like a cleansing of some kind, actually. The lament brings death, destruction, and countless reverberations reverberations that will be reflected overlapped and interwoven during the lament they will be our salvation this is cool 
the only path to a new life form and a new civilization. Sure, why not? What do you want to know? And why you me? Our goal has always been the same. We want you. Want you to join us. Come on. Why me? Forces battle over you, causing all this strife. And yet you remain unaware of your own worth. Are you really that naive? Or are you just dense? Neither. I'm an amnesiac, Scar. You should know that by now. Whatever. Our interest in you is not affected by such trivial matters. I'd like to say the same for myself. Sure. Why not? I'm done. What do you want to know? You can have him. You kidnapped Jue and revived the Thrinodian, accelerating the next lament. This is proof enough that you are the enemy of Jinjo and all humanity. Stop dreaming you can force Rover to join you. She is our honored guest, and I will not allow any harm to come her way. <laughs> How confident you sound. As the Thrinodian's resurrection approaches, Jinjo is barely holding on. How much longer do you think you can keep up this facade? Depends on how quickly I can get to the third aid again, hey? Thank you for your concern. We have crushed your schemes once, and we can do it again. I have one last question for you. Abducting Jue, stalking Rover, and setting up an ambush in Cheecher Village. You couldn't have accomplished that all on your own. Unless... Unless I'm not the only overseer in Jinjo, right? <laughs> well, there's the female. We know this. I have answered all your questions with full honesty. I don't mind you knowing because it won't make any difference. You can try to stop us with all you have, but it's too late to change the course of history. Ooh, the growl in his voice. Now, I have one question for you. You seem convinced we caused the disappearance of Jue. What if I told you there was more to it? Would you be curious? I'd be at the very least curious as to what you want to tell us. Because that can Jue. be telling. What else do you know? Come closer and I'll tell you, no. Madam Magistrate. Don't trust him. It's a secret for your ears only. Don't do it. How dare you? Madam Magistrate, I... Do Well, that's just irresponsible of you. No, it can't be. Shocked, aren't you? But there's more. Intrigue. What if I told you your sentinel had made this prophecy a long, long time ago? Your all-seeing sentinel abandons you now of all times. Need I say more? I'm curious though, because he alluded to the fact that he needed to do it out of the way for their vision to come true. That made the facts So if he didn't, or his people did not kidnap Dua and take him away, then why does he state that that's that he would do that for his own means? I don't think I'm articulating myself well. Mm. We're merely adding a touch of extra fuel to the fire that will soon consume all. Rover, care for a wager? I know you've been searching for answers about your past, and I've got news for you. Watch out! You are one of us, the Black Lambs, and you have been chosen to join us, ushering in the new world. Once you discover what you really are, you will come to us with no hesitation. He seems very confident in that point. The Fraxidus awaits your arrival with open arms. And I look forward to that day in sincere anticipation. 
<laughs> Scar's put in jail. It's very to the point. Thank you. <laughs> what did Scar tell you? And don't you dare think of covering it up. Sorry, Rover. What he mentioned about our Sentinel is... highly sensitive. I cannot disclose it yet. Not before verifying it myself. What about this trust that we were fostering here? I don't feel like I'm trusted right now. Is it a ploy to create distrust among us? Or... <sighs> I must first find our Sentinel to uncover the truth. How important is Jue to Jinjo? Jue is the guardian Sentinel of Jinjo. It is responsible for assisting Jinjo's magistrate in administrative affairs. Doesn't really answer the question though. While I am the final decision maker, without the assistance of Jue, I cannot guarantee I am always making the best choices for my people. I don't necessarily agree with that. It's like he's a human being walking around amongst the people and seeing what they want and how they feel. So I don't think he has a better perspective than you do. You seem to be doing well enough on your own. Why are you so sure that Jue is always right? Jue can predict the future. And up to this point, every one of its prophecies have been proven true. But don't forget, prophecies don't possess the entire story. They don't contain all the facts or the information. And more importantly, they don't contain the correct context. It is context that you must find when you're given a prophecy to really unravel it in a truthful manner. So if you've just been given a prophecy that Jue gave a long, long time ago, as Scar said, that has to do with this second lament or the downfall or the Theronians or whatever, you've got to remember that you're missing context. While justice may not be universally agreed upon, its decisions have consistently served the best interests of Huang Long. Perhaps it left to set Jinjo's future right. Perhaps intended to let you make your own decisions. Yeah. For that, I suppose we will have to talk to it in person to find out. I thought you could commune with it mentally. Mm -hmm. In addition, Rover, Jue once told me to deliver a message to you. I'm sorry, he what? To the Awakened One. When raindrops fall upstream, I've been there. Please head to the Northfall Barrens and seek General Jian of the Midnight Rangers. Well, I've been to the Northfall Barrens where the rain was going up, right? And it was weird, and I immediately left because I didn't want to be there just yet. So I'll need to find this General Jian. I suppose so. General Jian is currently battling another TD outbreak in oh, really? the Northfall Barrens. Which will also serve as our front line against the Thronodian. So, are we never going fully north? Uh, do I just have to explore that myself? The story's not actually taking me that high? That's right. But the ongoing war has made it a very dangerous place to go. Oh, she has another mole. I had noticed. She had a mole up here, or at least she did during part of the conversation. She has another one on her in the thigh here. Since you won't need to go there right now... Not until when the raindrops fall upstream. I know you're here for clues about your true identity. And I don't want you to leave the city empty-handed. Actually, that must have been clipping on her face. Because she doesn't have a mole on her face. Have you face. heard about the Black Shores? Yeah, I saw Rover. it during the cutscene. Uh, no, I It's I an organization not. shrouded in mystery. With a secretive membership process. And members who usually keep their identities hidden. Mm. Upon your awakening... One of their members discreetly contacted me to gather information about you. But please don't worry. The Black Shores developed a special lament prediction system and has established partnerships with countries worldwide. You still haven't really established what they do. While operating in secrecy, they are not an extremist group like the Fraxidus. They have been monitoring the situation in Jinjo to provide assistance when needed. Interesting. Thanks to their extra help, my meeting with you went smoothly. This Blake Bloom is their symbol. Blake Bloom. The Black Shores members usually wear it on their person. What do they want to achieve in Jinjo? There sure are a lot of people keeping an eye on me. Wouldn't that make them easy to spot? I was thinking the exact same thing, actually. Yes, I suppose it does make them stand out. On the other hand, they presumably possess extraordinary abilities to stay anonymous. This photo is yours to keep. I will return with Jue shortly, 
and the Black Shores may be worth your try during this time. That's great, but who's gonna be magistrate of a city while you're gone? Who's gonna make decisions in your absence? Because I assume some was going with you. Is there a photo of her? And do it. Rover, are you all right? Oh, is she seeing the future? She had a black, was it a Blake Bloom on her? Yeah, I saw something, I was wearing a, the Blake Bloom. I see. The Black Shores must have a deep connection to your past. Oh, so I've done this before. So I'm following my own cycle on repeat. Yippee. Since you are likely being closely monitored by the Fraxidus now, I suggest keeping an eye out oh, yeah, for the Black Shore members. Okay. They could prove to be your valuable allies. I'll do my best to find Jue and tell you everything I learned from it once I return. This is my promise. I'm counting on you. Don't get killed, and don't lie to me, and don't hide yes. the truth from me. Please leave it to me. Samwa, input? Sanhua. Yes, Madam Magistrate. I will be going on a temporary leave. During my absence, please help me handle my okay. responsibilities in Jinjo. So she is staying behind. That won't make her very happy. Understood. Oh. Should I continue protecting that rover? No need. Both Chan Li and I will be away, and there will be more than enough paperwork for you to handle. Is Lady Chong Li leaving for the capital? Who is Lady Chong Li? Please pardon my intrusion, but she just faced an ambush in the Central Plains. What if... Regarding that incident, we tried to warn her about the Fraxidus, but they were more cunning than we thought. If she runs into another powerful enemy like Scar, she'll eventually have to confront them on her own. Sanhua, you can place more trust in Rover and me. Understood. I will. My lady, no matter what happens, my sword is always yours. Now, what happened to cause such dedication? I want the backstory. Both the interrogation and my appointed meeting with Rover have already finished. Scar only needed the two of you as his audience. Hello. We already knew what he wanted, and we let him have as much. She decrypted every message we intended to convey. It's only proper you meet him in person, as the one who crafted those puzzles. I'm sorry, you just changed gender twice in that sentence. Such intricate puzzles. I guess only Rover has the patience to solve them all. No detail is too small. I'm sure she understands. Besides, not seeing the opponent heightens the thrill of the game. If everything goes according to the prophecies of Jue, I will meet her in person eventually. So, what did our captive from the Fraxidus tell you about Jue? Is this the, what, should, what they call her? Chung, Chung Li? The person who was in the Central Plains and clashed with Scar and is heading towards the capital? That Jue had predicted I will have to fight it one day. A fight that will shape Jinjo's future. That can't be it, surely. Well, that is unexpected. But you don't seem all that surprised, do you? Wait, sorry, the lack of pronouns is, is, is messing me up. Do you mean that she has to fight the dragon? It really helps if you give pronouns to creatures, in the sense, because it's just screwed up the meaning. I thought they were meaning something metaphorical, like the lament, the second lament, the Thronodians. Do you mean do it? Can't say I am. I had suspected as much from our previous conversations. I think that's what I'm, I'm interpreting here. left me. His words only confirmed it. So you have to kill your sentinel. That sounds like a bloody bad idea. 
But why is the Sentinel going up against his own city? Where was it when you last sensed its presence? It was... in Mount Firmament. Unlike Jinjo City, that mountain is still resting in stillness. The place where the first people of Jinjo lived. And where Jue first manifested before us humans. I see. I'll find Jue, and bring it back as soon as possible. Our enemies could have planned it as a trap. We have a bigger goal to focus on, remember? I understand. I will not let anything or anyone disrupt the peace in Jinjo. Would you let what you heard from Scar sway your determination? No. He cannot ever turn me against Chue. If anything, his words only confirmed my theory. I am the Magistrate of Jinjo, appointed by the Sentinel itself. The prophecy speaks of a decisive incident for Jinjo's future, where I will be a key player. The fight between me and Jue is only a precursor. My job remains unchanged. I will fulfill my duty as Jinjo's magistrate with my own judgment. If this was already a theory you possessed, and it's just a confirmation to your theory, it's not new information. Why were you so surprised when Scar said it to you? Were you acting for his behalf? It just seems a little overdramatic when all it did was confirm something you already thought. Is that your final answer? A single strand's neglect births mountainous upheaval. You taught me that, remember? The safest option is for me to go in person. Very well. It is Chung Lee. Okay. Since we Not are that I know who that is. Game, I will let you decide our next move. Is she the ruler of Huang Long? <laughs> I don't know. I don't get the lore of his place. This time, I shall be a pawn in your hand. Remember, I will always stand by your side. In this crisis or any other. I mean, she sounds older. Is she a mother? Sister? Lover? Friend? Am I a player, or a mere pawn? I suppose there is no difference at this point. I don't think there is either. No matter what, I will do what I must. The one thing that bothers me about her outfit, which is pretty solidly pointed out now, as she's no longer on the screen, chapter 4 complete, or act 4 complete, uh, her chest with the crisscrossing fabric, it's like pushing her breasts into one another and it looks very lopsided because there's a lot of space either side of her chest <laughs> where the rest of her torso is. It just, it doesn't look right. <laughs> but I can't show that to you. Oh my god, I made it to 22. How'd that happen? Act 5, Rewinding Raindrops. Oh, we're going to find Dion now. Quickly jump to various gameplays via go guidebook. Okay. Um... You know what? I should be pressing on my F keys. F1 is uh, events, question mark. F2 is what they wanted me to go to, which is activity. F3 gets me to wishing. That's good. That at least is the same as Genshin, even though the um, event isn't. F4 gets me to the Pioneer podcast. F5 does not, and so forth down the F's keys. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Oh, you got a constellation. I'm sorry, a resonance chain. Congratulations. Your spectro damage bonus is increased. Brilliant. That's exactly what I needed. She's still my strongest team member. Actually, I leveled you up, so you're strong as well. Uh, quests. Alone in the Abyss. Head to the designated location. Depends on where it is. 720, not a fan of that. Oh, it wasn't tutorials, it's the arrow. Okay, trophies. A whispering melody. Complete the chapter. A tuning master. Essentially do the main quest. Deal one million damage total. Easy enough to obtain. And backpack. What are you trying to tell me? Oh, it's just in Luxon Disc. Oh no, and the, the, the map. Oh no, there was one more item. Doesn't matter, it's done. Uh, translation errors. Dude, you have more than one translation error. You have an English problem in general. Oh, this is the quest. 
Confidential alert. Huasu Academy. Identified unknown reverberation frequencies in a fixed point area, possibly indicating a new type of TD. The affected region borders a top secret research site, requiring personnel with high clearance for investigation. Urgent assistance is needed from authorized personnel to resolve the situation. Immediate action is crucial to ensure the safety and security of all involved. I read you. Oh, I didn't claim you. Now I can get rid of you. Um, that means that I should have enough for some poles. I was going for the weapon, wasn't I? Far less interesting. I'm starting to regret that decision. Ugh, I need 10 more. Yuck. Oh, I have two here. And we have four here, that brings us to 14. It's a grim day, that's for sure. I just, I don't need any extra characters. Like if I get another Jion by just doing, using my handful of, you know, pulls, my convenes, that's so fine. I'm not angry about that. I just, I'm spending all my resources already on these three characters. I don't have the resources to, to worry about pulling more characters. Just in case you're wondering the bigger picture. And they're over there. Well, it they can wait.